ways to, in order to do something for the people that has an advanced breast cancer in Venezuela. Thank you. We're okay. gonna need to Thank close this much. session. Yes. We have a closing comment from Dr. Okay. Kazab. Thank you, Ben. Uh, I would like to, to, uh, to share with you that uh, the reason for this second day, this second day is focused in middle income countries. So the idea is to have in this session and the next one for everybody, a more or less uh, helicopter vision of which is happening in the different countries. Of course, uh, today we have uh, this morning from Chile and from Uruguay, and uh, later on we will see from, from Brazil. So at the policymaker panel, the idea is just to discuss the issues that were presented as, for example, political actions that could be supported by the governments or unbalanced, unbalanced distribution of resources that are one of the main obstacles in Latin America. Because one of the characteristics of the problem that today we will be discussing is the heterogeneity of resources. From very top level institutions, uh, if you have a melanoma patient in Sao Paulo, you will have treatment, the same treatment that in Houston. And in other parts of the country, you will find big stage street tumors. So, Please keep in mind that the idea is to have a general vision to see the differences from country to country and at the policymaker session we will try to focus exactly in this critical point from knowledge, some actions to implementation processes and of course if possible something about metrics, outcomes and quality control. We could do our post-test question. Carol, go ahead. So again, patients in low and middle income countries present with advanced stage breast cancer because A, they have inadequate mammography, B, they have fatalistic beliefs about cancer, C, healthcare providers uh, are misinformed about diagnosis and treatment. Okay. Hmm. Big shift. So uh, thanks very much. We're going to take a 20-minute break. We'll shorten.